Lieutenant Colonel Linda Yeager of Civil Air Patrol, and I'm the commander of the 388th Composite Squadron, which meets here at um, Hangar 14 at the Glendale Airport. And so the hangar, um, obviously, much better location as we now have a secure place to house our Cessna 182, which is really the essence of the Civil Air Patrol mission. The plane does go out several times a month. The Air Force funds the missions that we fly. And what we do is uh, missions in the southern part of Arizona in support of Homeland Security. We do missions in the north part of Arizona in support of um, um, long distance training, long navigation, some help to the U.S. Forestry Service. If they're interested in any kind of flying, now it doesn't require a pilot, if you're a mission observer and you sit in the right hand seat, you're primarily involved with what the title says, observer. You're looking out the window, helping scan and look for that lost individual. Um, you're doing a little bit of communications and navigation. If you're sitting in the back seat, you occupy a very important position because we have a very uh, nice GPS enabled camera and you need to be able to take photos. This is a composite squadron, which means there's about 100 people, 50 adults, 50 cadets. So while the adults take part in the emergency services missions, we do have a few adults and several cadets that take part in a leadership training program in which sponsored by the Air Force. And they're here for leadership training. Um, they're here because their friends are here. They like to do activities together. And it really taught me a lot about how you need to control your cadets, uh, basically what you need to do to help them move along. I never really saw myself as becoming a leader of something like this aspect. This is a totally new level for me of how I put myself into the world and it's really helped me become the person who I am today. Yeah, the cadets that join, they can join as young as age 13, um, and they come in and we explain to them that it is a leadership development program, so we expect them to take part in learning about aerospace, a um, little bit of science and math snuck in there and principles of flight. Um, we also expect them to, to learn accountability. There's um, activities they have to take part in, they have to plan, and then they have to help staff and run. So they get some experience on what sounds like a great idea, then maybe is a little bit harder to do, and that's all the, the learning process. Um, they are wearing Air Force uniforms, battle dress uniform, and the uh, service blues, so that they have to learn accountability and keeping their uniforms straight. They all know how to iron their shirts at a very early age. What I find the most interesting is the aerospace education of the program, and uh, like he said, the drill, drill portion. It's just an amazing program. There's all sorts of opportunities. If you like to go do ES, which is emergency services, you can do that. If you like to study aerospace and the plane, and you can fly a glider, which is an airplane without an engine. Kind of scary at first, but it's amazing once you get up there, it's beautiful. There's all these opportunities in the program. You can do the leadership part, which is my favorite. There's, there's everything. If you want to do it, you can do it here. Okay, Jerry Wires, Mayor of Glendale, again with you. Uh, thanks for uh, thanks for uh, spending some time uh, seeing some of the things that uh, Glendale Airport has to offer. You know, right now we're in our pilot shop, and the pilot shop uh, is one of those great assets for pilots. Uh, they sell uh, oil, oil filters, uh, maps, charts, all sorts of things for pilots. Even have toys for the kids, model airplanes and all sorts of different things. And uh, just on the other side of the hallway here at uh, the main terminal building, we have our airport cafe, uh, serve breakfast and lunch out here and, uh, and serve some, some great food too. You can sit there and eat breakfast and, and look out the windows and watch the airplanes land and take off. Uh, there's a lot of things going on out here. It's a great resource, a great community resource. Uh, you can come out here and take a class. You can learn to fly an airplane. Maybe that's something that you've been wanting to do and maybe, who knows? Maybe it's time to try that. A really good airport to fly out of. There's, there's you can also uh, serve on the airport commission. That's something that's really important. Uh, we need people to serve on our boards and commissions. And out here at the airport, we get this wonderful resource. And yet we, we find sometimes we struggle finding people uh, that, that understand that uh, they can have a say-so and help the difference in Glendale, help chart that path that we want to go, make, make a, a positive difference within the airport. So uh, think about that. Uh, you know, thanks for flying with me today and I uh, hope to see you real soon.